everybody, it's Conrad here from OverToGardener.com. Just wanted to give you a quick greenhouse tour and show you how to pollinate some watermelons. And I might as well show you how to well, pollinate tomatoes too. Uh, these are my little cherry tomatoes, this is all I do. And they'll, uh, you'll see on the bigger plants, it works good. You just bob them a little bit and uh, they'll drop their pollen onto the female parts. And we've got some new additions here, this is the... Uh, these two are Meyer lemons. Actually, all five of these are Meyer lemons. But uh, those two are the only two that have sprouted. I uh, I might do a video on how I sprouted them faster than uh, most people normally would. And there's another tiny Tim tomato. Uh, here's the the fix. I mean, I know there's a lot of bugs in there. They crawl inside because they can still get in from where the big rip was, like up here. They can crawl in there, and I guess that's where they go to die. But it won't matter after next year. And I put up a little bit of shade cloth because of starting some goji berries. That seems to have worked. It helps regulate the temperature over here so it doesn't get too hot. And uh, it doesn't get too cool because these, these pop bottles heat up anyway. So if it's cooler in here, they still retain their heat. And then the marigolds, I finally have a spot for in the yard. I just have to get them out there. They'll probably be gone by next video. <clears throat> and these are those white alpine strawberries. I finally transplanted them. They're doing great in here. We got some more on the deck and they're still tiny on the deck. They haven't grown much. But uh, another thing I've done is all the vines. I'm putting them up the front. Like here's, that was a cantaloupe. Here's a watermelon. And this one goes all the way up and I had to start bringing it over. I thought about letting it go up behind but I don't, I don't want to do that. Now yeah, here's another cantaloupe. It's doing well. This whole pino here, like this tree is getting pretty big. I'm glad that's the one I'm going to bring in over the winter. And it's got a lot of it's some good jalapenos on there. I had a couple over there yesterday with my eggs. It was really nice. Here is another watermelon, and this one. Let's see if we can find the spot here. Uh, one of these vines was much longer. Oh, there's a actually part of it right now. I noticed that was all broken off see there that's because this fan you can see the damage to it it this thing wasn't very this barrel it's in on wasn't very uh, level and so I turned the fan off one day and it tumbled onto this watermelon which had a vine all the way out hopping up over here and I lost two pollinated watermelons from that and that kind of made me mad. But I'm going to stop for a minute because there's a train coming you won't be able to hear. Okay, I'm back and we're on the other side of the greenhouse now. Uh, these onions are doing really well. I, can, I didn't know what kinds they were before. I knew they were red and... Uh, oh, there's some grass back there too. Well, I knew they were red and white, but now I know for sure this one's red. Um, and the gladiolas came up and boy, have they ever come up. Look at how big those things are. And this one, this little guy here, is from one of the cormlets we planted. Doesn't, none of the others have come up, but if that one came up, I'm sure they will too. Here is the Roma tomato. And again, I've just been tapping the... Oh, you can't see that. There we go. Just been tapping the uh, flowers. And we got some fruit set on this one. So that's nice. Uh, this basil, I just cut down all the... Um, all, it had blossom. I think it had... Uh, flower stalks coming up on it so I cut them back. The Swiss chard is much bigger than last time you guys saw it. It's doing great but it keeps falling over when I water it so I've been putting a little dirt around like this one especially. It falls over a lot. The cucumbers I thinned them to the two strongest and uh, they will get bigger if we get some warmer weather here. It's been like I haven't had to open the door except for a little bit yesterday and today over the last week because it's been raining the whole time I mean, welcome to june in alberta i guess but uh yeah it's like a tropical rainforest in here <laughs> it was it was raining inside of them you can see there's condensation on it right now i think you can see that i hope so and that's just it was like that all the whole week in here because it was a little warmer in here than it was outside but uh next week's supposed to be nice so We'll see, and these are Kentucky Wonder beans. They're doing great, it's finally starting to climb the poles. Uh, this jalapeno here is just loaded. 
and that's all I do to pollinate is just tap the flowers again really easy and this chili pepper holy smokes look at look at how many of these are on here it's just this is a uh, chili grande and yeah it's doing incredibly well I think I have a watermelon pollinated on here where is it there right there no, I'm hoping it's gonna get bigger. This one has a few that aren't dropping, but they're also not getting any bigger. So I don't know. And here is the Better Boy tomato. It has a bunch of big tomatoes on it. And uh, I'm growing one in a bag too, just to see. And it is taller. It's got the same amount of tomatoes on it though. So, production wise, it's about the same. Uh, plant strength wise, I think the one in the bag is actually probably a stronger plant. But just huge, thick stems on it. It's doing awesome. The habanero finally started to grow. Look at it. Last time, it was, I bet it was half that size actually. So, I'm excited for that. There's little, little blossoms coming on it. So, soon I'll have peppers. And the cantaloupe back there, I just pollinated. Uh, you'll be able to see that one. But this one's getting some too. This one isn't open yet. But uh, there's a fruit and blo there's a female blossom there. And there's another one down here that I pollinated earlier. That's why there's a flower stuck in it. And then the morning glories are getting a lot bigger. They haven't started climbing or anything yet. But they're they're coming along. And now let's show you how to pollinate. How I pollinate. Watermelon. First, we find a nice male blossom, and we just pluck that right off of there. And as you can see, it's just got male parts there, and there's no fruiting thing on it. Let me get that in focus for you. And then, take it over to the female blossom. This one might actually be hard to see. Let me just see. There's a little watermelon on the bottom of there. And these are the same type, so I don't mind doing this. And you just rub them together. And you get your finger out of the frame, because that's very amateurish. <laughs> and so, uh, that should do it. Pop it in there just a little more, just to make sure. And I always just leave it over it, in case any more falls off. And that's all there is to it. I hope that's helped you. Maybe you can pollinate in your greenhouse because I don't get I usually try to keep the door closed as long as I can so I mean today it's open though I'm about to close it again because it's uh, getting cloudy again it's supposed to rain this afternoon but after that it's it's fine oh I'll show you the outside what I did too oh and to get pollinators near the greenhouse I put this here nice little basket but uh, yeah this is all I did just tape here tape up here and it goes all the way to the bottom and it comes up well this one doesn't leak at all the one in the middle has it was the hardest one to do it has one little leak and the back one doesn't seem to leak either so it's working it's uh it's ugly but it works so i'm happy with it oh but until next time uh, keep on gardening and uh like subscribe and share the video if you enjoyed it and all comment as well. I enjoy hearing from you guys. So thanks. Have a great day.